starting your journey to financial freedom. Now. Now. You are listening to the New Investor Podcast. This is the Young Investor for the New Investor Podcast, and let's uh, take a look at the markets where each of the major averages have picked up uh, 1% yesterday, recovering from the past uh, few days' losses. Uh, this happens again. Volatility is back again, and it does seem that uh, President Trump now realizes that it may be time to negotiate a little further with China, and I understand uh, now most recently that uh, Huawei has been given uh, three more months to buy supplies from U.S companies. Uh, I understand also that the U.S. Treasury yield has increased. Uh, so all of this restores confidence in the investors and the markets have therefore uh, reacted positively. And I hope you have taken advantage of the last uh, correction a few days ago and refilled your lots uh, with some more stocks, pulled your averages down and increased your dividends. If not, I would completely understand as the markets may seem quite expensive nowadays. And I also myself keep scouting for possible investments opportunity into new sectors um, but uh, you know I believe it is important to continuously stay curious and learn about new companies uh, that will of course take quite a bit of time for me to build an understanding solid enough uh, to trigger me to invest uh, but I will ensure that the st sectors I research uh, be closely linked to the companies I have already invested into uh, one way or uh, the other and it reassures me to look at companies that entertain close relationships with my current companies and my portfolio. So it was my birthday yesterday and uh, I officially aged another year and turned 39 years old and I did not spend much time reflecting on the past. I usually spend time thinking how much more I can do in the coming year that will further reinforce my chances for a brighter future. One thing I can tell you is that once you have found your purpose, you will never again reflect on your past as your mindset will be laser focused on your future. It is much more exciting to plan for your future than it is to dwell on your past. I am, I am not exactly sure how many of you have already taken action since the last uh, 93 episodes. Uh, that doesn't matter um, as just like for me, your call for action will happen to you suddenly, but that call will never come if you have not taken your pledge to change and follow through on it every single day. And I truly believe that the succession of of small life changes applied one on top of the other every single day over a period of time uh, will reach a certain threshold that will ignite uh, your call for action. So once that occurs, I believe there will be very little stopping you on your way to your goals. And if this podcast can contribute to even 1% of that process, that would be a tremendous uh, victory already. And there is literally uh, not one minute of my day that is spent away from planning and executing right away. That goes for my regular job and now for my side ventures. And once an idea pops in my mind uh, and that I believe has the potential for an impact, I will apply it immediately, track the performance and deep dive further into that idea. It works much better when applied to real life uh, than if you keep polishing your idea in your mind as it will just remain as is only an idea. Now, since I have have started my side venture. I probably polished my strategy more than 20 times, uh, left some money on the table a few times already, which is, uh, I believe, um, of the utmost necessity uh, if you want to build any further chances of success. Trial and errors uh, are part of the game. With regards to my investing strategy in the full year of 2018, it was exactly that. I did lose money, but I managed to find my own uh, investing strategy as of 2018. 2019 and stick to it. Um, now uh, I am much more confident about uh, everything. So it is a question of practice. That practice will elevate your skills, build your confidence, allow you to craft your knowledge. And all of this are added value that will increase your chances to reach uh, those financial goals or any other goal for that matter. Keep practicing, keep failing and keep doing it again and again until you have polished uh, that stone uh, close to perfection. So look after yourselves and be well. Mm -hmm. 
Thank you for listening to the podcast and I really hope that it brings you some additional support on your own journey towards financial freedom. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button to never miss an episode and looking forward to your DM and follow on Instagram at New Investor Podcast. In the meantime, stay invested, be patient and keep playing the long-term game. The podcast you just heard was made using Anchor. Ever thought about making your own podcast? Anchor makes it really easy for anyone to get started. It's a one-stop shop for recording, hosting, and distributing podcasts. Best of all, it's 100% free. Sign up now at anchor.fm slash new. That's anchor.fm slash new to get started.